This is the archer's choice. Okay, Vic, here's how it's gonna be. We'll shoot him through the choice blind and we'll flip it up and go after him like that. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, we're going to hunt Manitoba monsters at Canadian Subarctic. On the ground with our Maristep ground blinds. And we set it up with the tripod because you were afraid you wanted to stay high. I wasn't afraid at all. I just like to be up tall. I'm used to being taller than him, so I figured why not be in the tripod. Hey, hey don't forget about our lucky logo. I was going to say, do something down there. You going to tell them about the lucky logo? The lucky logo contest this week is the Beeman logo. So you need to look for the Beeman logo this week. And first, we're going to start off with a day in life in bear camp. A day in the life of bear camp with yep. Ralph and Vicky. Oh, that sounds exciting. How thrilling. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm getting ready for hunting. Oh, we could tell. Yes. Don't get too close. You'll show my age. Oh, that's too late, buddy. Oh, too late. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Well, we decided a while ago to show you a day in bear camp. Why? because it can, it can change from minute to minute. So we're gonna go through and show you what it all is. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Marsh and John are making breakfast for everybody. It's a good breakfast. Vic's making toast. Mm -hmm. Uncle Spence is sitting here salivating, waiting for breakfast. No, he already ate I, red I ate river. my Red River cereal. Red and river. we ain't eating Red River cereal. If you've ever seen it, it's bird food in a box. It's good. It's strictly for people over 60. Yeah, over 60. 60, I, I, including myself too, you know. I, I, I you gum ate a Red lot river? of things. Red River? Yeah. Only the Red River that goes through Winnipeg, not the stuff that the, he was eating. No. Yeah. Well, the mice are eating this stuff, so I'm just sharing it with the mice. The, the boiling water river. kills a lot. Mm -mm. Don't eat Red River. You know, it's so hard at, for people to understand what it all takes when you're in such a remote camp, whether it's bear hunting, caribou, whatever it is, but there's so much transportation and really the only thing you rely on are the bush planes. Like we said, a day in bear camp, you never know what's gonna happen. Like, you know, understanding that if you're in such a remote camp that the planes with the floats are the only thing that could bring stuff and you're at their mercy and if they sometimes don't bring some stuff or do. Right, and it's not the pilot's fault. No, it's not, no. no. it's not the pilot's fault. So you try to do the best you can and really you have to have, you have to keep a positive attitude because it's tough. I mean, there's things you might be waiting for to come into camp and they just don't come because they didn't hear it on a sat phone or whatever. Don't get depressed because if you get depressed, it's only gonna make your trip more miserable. This is a day in bear camp. So what we're actually gonna do now is head out to the baits. It's gonna be rougher coming back and you can see that, like I said, we're loaded with more clothes on, but- And our rain gear, cause we're gonna get wet on yeah, the Yeah, we're gonna get wet. Yeah. We've got, as you could, a clear sky. So this front has passed. Like we said, a day in bear hunting continues. Hey, Marsh. No. Come here. I got. Do you ever do a sobriety woodsman's test? A sobriety woodsman's test. Woodsman's test. Is that, is that where you got to cut the guide off the booze and? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Pretend you're driving. Now you would drive. You driving a motorcycle or a truck? <laughs> okay. A truck. Now you're going through trees. Do you ever do this? No. no it, never done right. this. No. All right. You're going faster. Speed up. All right. Okay. Now close your eyes. You hit one. He <laughs> failed. <laughs> I owe you. <laughs> Marshall, I cannot believe you just fell for that. You said you had a good comeback. Yeah, well, to you hunters out there, one thing for sure, never make your guide mad because your chances of success drop rapidly afterwards. Hey, guess what? I'm done. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, Vic, let's explain what we did here. Because, Please, because it feels kind of funny sitting up in this tripod. Well, you know, you always feel like you have to be on a pedestal. No. So I just put you. <laughs> 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 and uh, what we did is we actually had a camera going in the ground blind. We had we either Travis, you or I were filming in there, and and one of us were hunting. And then we also had another camera going on the tripod to give two different camera angles. Right which is something different. So we had something on the ground coming up close, but the person on the tripod could actually film out a little farther to see what was coming in that you couldn't see from the ground blind. Yep. It worked out pretty good. So let's check it out. Okay, can I have my shoe my back? my hunt. Yeah, but can I have my shoe back? No, get off your pedestal.
Did you see that sow and that boar fighting? And notice how the sow is like always just na 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 na. Sounds a lot like at home, doesn't it, guys? Stayed here. Here's his pad. Here. Hold on. Right here. There he is. <laughs> that away, Brother Marshall. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at the melon on this guy. Oh, look at the head on him. Look at this. Look at that scar. Well, what can we say? Up here with Ken Ganglers, Canadian subarctic hunting, and we are in far the northern part of Manitoba with, as usual, the Manitoba monster baboons. And we bared down the first night. We had two bears come in. One, we for sure almost think it's a sow. We had photos of her on the stealth cam. We had photos of this guy. We saw his noggin and we said, if he comes in, oh yeah, we gotta try for him. This bear is beat up bad. If you look at all the scars he's got on his head, look at the size of that head. I mean, you're talking about an old mature boar and sort of looks like our guide, Marshall, all beat up, scratched and scarred, but he can go through any. Congratulations, Ralph. And now let's head into Travis's first bear hunt in Manitoba.
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, Ralph, congratulations on your bear. Thank you. What Pretty color cool, was he? Huh? What color was he? Why do you gotta go there? I'm just asking. He, he had a he had a, like a brownish tint to him. Why is it that two times that we've been up to up by Ken's there in Canadian Subarctic, you shot bears, he swears they're chocolate bears, and we recover them in the Excuse black. Excuse me, yeah? you did too. We all thought that was a chocolate bear because of the sun. But I never said on film that I thought it was a chocolate bear. You did twice. Chocolate bear. Travis and I, a little setup real quick. Travis and I, I was actually hunting. Travis brought his bow into the blind with us, just in case. And sure enough, a nice bear came by, and Ralph and I, we knew right along that we were going to make Travis. a good bear. Travis, yeah, we wanted Travis to get a good bear, and yep. it came in, and then he everything started, worked oh. out. And it was tight inside that blind. He's a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's roll that footage, shall we? Yeah, why don't you get off your pedestal now? Why don't you just do something about that blind? I like this blind. Yeah, you like dark spaces? It's my choice. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I stumped on that one, didn't I? <laughs> just roll the footage. <laughs> Chevron right there? Yeah. It's a gorgeous bear, brother. Hey, look at you're still the same height. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Thank brother. you. All right, let me just uh... Notice how Travis is kneeling and is still as tall as Ralph. <laughs> Ralph Vic, right here. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's so finished. Well, it's the third night of our Manitoba Canadian Subarctic adventure. And the first night, Ralphie got a beautiful black bear. And is, we've been dealt with nothing but 80 degree weather the whole time we've been up here. And finally, we had a nice cold front came in last night and all of our baits have been hit except for, I think, one or two. We set up and our stealth cam showed that uh, we had a nice black bear on this bait. So we set up our intimidator ground blind and Ralphie was in the Maristep uh, uh, tripod that you saw the second above angle and uh, I was actually supposed to be filming Vicky tonight and well she decided that I was going to be the lucky one to take this bruiser and it is an awesome awesome head. The bear has such a beautiful big head and I couldn't be any happier I'll tell you that. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now it's the Vickster's turn and check out the bear how scarred up and rough he is. I mean I wouldn't have shot him. I'd have passed him up. Wouldn't have took him. Mm -mm.
Because when in doubt, get out. It's about 11 o'clock right now. Still legal shooting time. What we might do is we're going to call Marsh. Call Marsh, I'll tell him to come and get us and come back in the morning and look for him. I don't want to push him. Right here. Oh, I see. The black? That's him. He didn't see. Look it. He's he's down exactly. I just couldn't see him because of the angle. Vicky, uh, what can I say? Oh, look at the big crease. <laughs> I am a fan of J Lo's butt. That's it. Look at. Look, look at, at the that. size. He's got Holy just a God. wide head, long head. Oh He's my goodness. He's a good mature bear, which is what. Every time, every year we come up here by Ken's, we just see some really good bears. Of course, I always seem to take bigger bears than you, even last year. Oh, yeah, you're but. Well, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's show because she spanked me again. I got Travis too on that one. She got everybody. But what are you going to do? Wow, we sure hope you enjoyed this week's Manitoba Monsters with Ken Gangler. Yep, a Canadian subarctic, and I shot the biggest bear. Once again, she's on her pedestal. But guess what? If you could, I'm climbing up it too, and I'm getting close. But you know what? I will always be taller than you. If you happen to see the Beeman Lucky logo this week, you need to log on to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice and let us know where you saw it. So then we're going to pick someone out. You got to go to our website. You'll find it right there. You'll see who the winner is. And you'll get us a big surprise from Beeman. Someone will. Someone will. Someone. Someone. Not everyone. No, not everyone. No, not everyone. Nope. So we hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.